Hello, I'm Steve Olson, Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at an iLogic rule that I've recently redone. Um, it's basically how to use iLogic to save a PDF of the drawing you're working on. Before I get into my rule and how it works, I have to give a little bit of credit to Curtis. He actually has a post here that I kind of did use a little bit of his code and my code kind of combined it into one. One of the troubles that my code initially had and why I redesigned it was it wasn't always the best at capturing all the sheets. It kind of was relying on inventor's previous settings on if all the sheets were included or not. Curtis had a way to kind of circumvent that and I kind of had to redo some of my code to incorporate his technique. So I just want to give some credit where credit was due to Curtis in his post here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code I created and I'll kind of walk you through what it's meant to do and then I, in the description here I'll give you a link where you can download what I have. I'm going to basically right click here and say edit role. So here's the rule that I created and basically I have it actually with a main module and two sub modules just because I thought that might be easier. It doesn't have to be done this way but I just kind of felt like this was the best way. So the main module basically just tries to figure out what the file extension is by taking the entire, by taking the document name and just taking the three characters from the right. That should give me the, the, the extension, whether it be an IDW, DWG, IPT, I, uh, IM, etc. So the next code says, okay, well, if it's a file extension IDW, then I want it to do the save PDF, which is the, the, the module below. Else if file extension DWG, do the same thing. Else, basically just run down the uh, and do the error message. And so let's kind of take a look at what the save PDF and the error message module are. So the save PDF, basically it gets, this is some of the code I got from, from Curtis's page here in terms of trying to do some string manipulation and getting some different, this document and some of the options available to us. Then it gets back into my code where we're again doing some string manipulation to figure out what the workspace path is, how long, how many characters that is. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing a bunch of string manipulation to figure out what the workspace is or what the pathing is besides you know uh, or, or at least the relative works the relative pathing from workspace down because I don't need all the stuff from C and where all that is I just need from where the workspace down is so then after that I start building a new path for the PDF which starting with C PDFs and this can be manipulated to wherever you want that to be then the directory path from, figured out from above and then the file name, and then also changing the file extension to a PDF. And then this sets up the target for the file name. And, and then this, this sets the options for being all sheets. The next thing basically goes out and figures out, okay, is that folder existing somewhere uh, on my, in the network, my path, wherever that is? Does that folder exist? If not, it creates it. Then the last thing is it goes out and creates that PDF. It actually does a save copy as type technique as opposed to like a print or whatever tech, other technique you might have. The error message that I referred to above is just basically a message box that says, this is not a drawing file. No PDF will be created. I just don't want the, you know, we don't need PDFs of IPTs. We don't need them uh, of IMs. We just want drawings. And that's kind of how we have this set up. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it save and run. It'll go out and it'll create that PDF in that directory. So just to kind of prove like the location, if you go to the model here and go to the properties. You can see it's in D, it's a CAD world workspace lock assembly is the location of this. So let's take a look at where this ended up getting saved. 
So you can see here I'm in C PDFs. It was in the drawing was in a lock assembly folder inside of there, and that was the it was this file right here. You can tell from the timestamp it was just created. We'll open it up just for sake of doing so. And you can see there's our PDF. So this is also a really great candidate for a rule that you want to have it uh, set up an event trigger to save this or run this rule whenever you save your document. And I have some other documentation, some other video, other blog posts out there on how to do that. Uh, with the 2018 release, they have global event triggers now, which make it really easy to set this up. And uh, I'm, I'm providing all this because this seems to be one thing that a lot of people want to do. They need PDFs. They need to create them automatically because then that means they don't have to worry about is it up to date. They don't want to have to create it as a manual process. And this automates that for you. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.